Okay, so pay attention to the trees. From far distance and close distance. Close will use the LOD0 with default mesh. And far distance will use the imposter LOD. Imposter LOD is a octahedron uh, billboard, so looks very realistic. As you can see, you bear notice is a imposter LOD from far distance. Looks like a simple mesh. Okay, look far distance, we use less triangles, is only eight triangles. And the trees and the imposter, we use the color variation. So I put the same uh, material function, so we will change the color from far to close as almost the same. Of course, not is a match 100%, but looks very nice. Look at the transition. You barely notice. This technique is very great for foliage and another stuff. Here's the default illumination. You see, everything here was imposter. So here is my imposter mesh. Of course, the illumination and the color not is correct because I adjust my material instance in the map. So not was made here. As you can see, just eight triangles. I go and increase the screen size for we look close. Okay, now change. Let's back for the map. All right, so now let's go see the transition. Almost everything here is using poster LOD from this camera distance. Now it's LOD zero. Now everything is in poster LOD. Of course, the, my illumination not is set up correctly, so is a lot weird on the shadows. I'm gonna show to you some parameters. If we change, we're gonna change the subsurface or the normal albedo. Let's disable my auto exposure. You see, only the far distance are changed the the brightness. We have a lot of controls here in parameters. Almost everything is default. I just add for color variation and some brightness. I increase the speed from the video, so looks so laggy. But here on my base color brightness, on edge glow, sometimes you barely notice the difference. But this is because I changed the subsurface. So we're going to change our camera to see another result on parameters.